All right, so now we're really going to say hello to the new Moto G6 and the Moto G6 Play, designed especially for you. For the first time, we've added a full HD 18:9 aspect ratio display to the devices, so all of a user's content is more engaging and more immersive. And with Dolby Audio, the consumer's use, uh, multimedia experience is much more immersive than it has been in the past on our Moto G phones. While we've increased the screen size, the phone features narrower borders and a contoured back, so it's ex still extremely comfortable to hold and feels very comfortable in your hand. So bigger screen without sacrificing comfort in hand. And speaking of the contoured back, the Moto G6's back is made of 3D Gorilla Glass for durability and reflects light from every angle, giving, giving it an extremely elegant look. Um, and you'll also notice the iconic camera bezel. We've moved that down to the Moto G6 from the Moto X4. So that has been brought down to the uh, Moto G6 line. And the device also features a water repellent coating to protect it from a little rain or accidental splashes. So there's some extra protection there. Um, both devices have plenty of power. We at Motorola do a lot of research. We know how important um, battery life is to consumers. And um, the Moto G6 features an all-day battery with 3,000 milliamp hours. And the Moto G6 Play features 4,000 milliamp hours for up to 32 hours of power on a single charge. And when a customer needs to get going in a hurry, um, both phones do feature turbo power charging with um, included 15 watt chargers in the box. So when they're, when they're low on power and do need to get going, they can just plug in and be going in a matter of minutes. Both phones also have um, blazing fast power of Snapdragon octa-core processors. And they also feature stock Android with, no, with very limited bloatware to really enhance not only the mobile experience of interacting with the device, but it also means the devices will respond quickly to every tap, touch, and swipe without any annoying lag. And when it comes to imaging, we've significantly upgraded the camera hardware and software for the new Moto G6. It features our 12 megapixel dual depth sensing camera system and advanced imaging software, allowing users to get more creative with the photos that they take every day. And the 1.8 aperture and 1.25 micron pixel size ensures photos come out clear in any lighting condition. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of photos that were actually taken by some mo motographers over the past week here in India. You can see in this example how the camera focuses very quickly, even with a fast-moving object, to capture a very crisp, clear image. This is a great example of a low-light shot. You can see very, very little um, graininess, very, very dark darks, very, very bright brights. And this, I feel like I could just reach in and grab a piece of nan. You, you, you can see how those colors pop. Um, it, it just looks really, really bright and vibrant. And then another a great example of HDR showing how all of the colors stand out, yet all of the shaded areas are nice and black. And when it comes to our portrait mode, um, the, w consumers can enable this to capture depth images. Um, the great thing about our portrait mode is while they can actually take the picture, um, adjust the blur effect up front, they can actually also go in afterwards with something we call selective focus and actually adjust the bl blur post-capture so they can just get the right level of intensity so you can really have the perfect bokeh shot. So you're, you're not just locked into the image that you capture up front. And the same functionality, depth functionality, actually applies to something we call selective black and white. So a user can actually go in, leveraging the depth map that the um, camera captured, tap the area that they want to keep in color, and the rest of the image is black and white for a really, really cool artistic effect. And this next feature, this is personally, this is one of my favorites. It's, you can give any one of your photos a very cool pop art effect. And this is pre-capture, so it's, you're literally taking the picture. You can select the area that you want to keep in color, and it'll select that color and any other colors that are in a similar hue or the same hue. And you can actually just adjust the, the, the level here um, for hue. So like maybe if there's some yellows, it'll include yellows as well. So it's a really cool way to capture really cool photographs that you know isn't really an option on other mobile phones. 
Um, and then time-lapse video is a new feature that we've added for this year to uh, Moto G6. So it features four different speed settings, so you can really capture amazing videos over an extended period of time and speed up the action for a really, really cool effect. So I know recently, and it was mentioned earlier, um, we've been seeing a lot of high megapixel front cameras hit the market recently. And I, you know, it, it's mostly, I think, a spec play. I, you know, I think it was mentioned, we, we, like, how many megapixels do you really need on a front-facing camera? Um, I think what consumers might not clearly understand is a lot of times with more megapixels, you get degraded low light quality, right? I think we all know that. Um, so our 16 megapixel front camera, which we felt was like the right amount of balance of detail and giving the right amount of megapixels, lets you capture detailed selfies anytime. Um, but we do actually have a special low light mode as well, which basically combines the pixels um, and you can actually capture low light photos with it that are more detailed and more crisp. And it also includes a light, so you're not sacrificing that low light selfie quality that you would be having just 25 megapixels and nothing else to kind of help um, overcome that low light situation. And another new feature this year is uh, active photos. So really bringing your photos to life. And the way this works is a consumer can easily turn it on and off in the camera menu. Um, when it's turned on, when a consumer is pointing the camera at something and it senses movement to take a picture, it'll actually not only capture the picture, but capture a short video. And when a consumer goes into um, Google, uh, Google Photos to view their photos, they'll actually see that clip of the video as well and can turn the action on and off very easily. And uh, speaking of Google Photos, um, as with all of our Moto phones, and I, I, you got to call it out every time, it is our native gallery app. It's, you know, it's completely seamless. A consumer takes a picture, it goes into Google Photos, it's automatically backed up. I, it amazes me how many people I know lose their phone and lose all of their photos on their phone. So there is no worry whatsoever with that happening with a Moto phone. It also means, you know, Photos are easily searchable, and you can actually access them from any device, share them from any device, edit from any device, no matter where you're at, which is you know, truly amazing. Um, so I'm sure you guys are all aware, Google Lens just recently launched. Uh, we've been working very closely with them. And beginning on June 6, we'll be one of the first to launch Google Lens integration into a phone camera in India. So not just photos integration, it's actually integrated into the phone's camera. So this will allow users to point the camera at what they see and take a number of different actions. Users can copy text and paste it in their notes, paste it in a message, paste it in an email, and immediately send it. Translate text or even search text. A great example is if I'm out at a restaurant, I can just simply point my camera at the menu, see an item that I don't know what it is, and learn exactly what the ingredients are in that item by highlighting the item on the menu with my phone. This has proved invaluable um, for me over the few day, past few days, for sure. Um, the feature also recognizes items and products quickly, allowing users to learn more about them instantly. So if you see somebody... Hello? Okay. If you see somebody wearing an outfit that you really like, you can simply point your camera. You might want to ask their permission first, but point, their, point your camera at the outfit, tap the icon, and it'll actually show you similar outfits to that outfit, and you can actually um, also explore ways to buy that outfit or buy similar looking outfits um, online. Another really useful feature um, with my trip here has been um, landmark recognition. So I can simply point my camera at any landmark, tap the lens button, and I instantly get reviews for the Landmark, I can get hours if, if they have an opening time. History, I can get facts. I can get details about other nearby um, landmark recognition as landmark recommendations as well, which is an extremely useful uh, feature when you're vacationing. And uh, the, the front camera also supports facial recognition, allowing users to quickly unlock their devices by simply looking at it without entering a password. And last but definitely not least, all of our great Moto experiences are including it, included in the Moto G6. So we've now added the ability to quickly take a screenshot by just tapping three fingers to the screen, and it'll um, pull up the screenshot. You can easily share or save it immediately. Um, you can get discrete notifications without unlocking your phone, um, and also without worrying about 
reducing your battery life. You can pl c reply to those notifications directly from your lock screen, so you don't even have to unlock your phone to reply. And now users can um, simply you know, approach the device, and ultrason ultrasonic technology enables them to actually get more information on their device without even touching it. And of course, there's always the you know, chop chop for flashlight, which I, I can't do without this feature. And then, of course, there's twist for camera. So everybody say cheese. No? All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, so that is the Moto G6 and the Moto G6 Play, really focused on giving consumers the best possible mobile experience at the best possible price. Uh, thank you so much for your time today. And now we're going to watch a quick vi uh, product video. Thank you. Goodbye. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Don't they look stunning, both the phones? I personally love the, the 3D contoured back of both the phones. I think it's absolutely strikingly beautiful. Now to the, the biggest question of the day, I think what we've been all waiting for, which is the prices. So without further ado, uh, the Moto G6 will be available starting at 13999 for the 3 plus 32 GB variant. And it is an Amazon exclusive. Uh, it goes on sale midnight tonight on Amazon and at Moto Hubs. And the Moto G6 Play will be available at 11999. And it is a Flipkart exclusive and also available at the 600 Moto Hub stores that we have as of today. Uh, as is always, we also have a bunch of uh, exciting launch offers available. Uh, we've got the HDFC Bank offer on Amazon where you can get a flat 1250 rupees off on the device if you purchase between today and tomorrow. Uh, and you've got a Paytm mall offer of a similar value at the hubs. Uh, of course, we've got no-cost EMI, exchange offers, as well as a Kindle Lite offer. Uh, we're also uh, giving you an Airtel 4G offer wherein you've got one year of Amazon Prime